So there is some weird new information on Heidi's case. We covered Heidi a couple of weeks ago. Um, there are some custody documents that were re revealed recently that she has a history of psychotic breakdowns and bizarre behavior. Now, we, we've already seen the video footage of her walking her dog. Uh, she was last seen at her son's football game October 17th. Her ex-husband, James Wayne, requested custody of their son in 2015, claiming he feared the boy was in immediate risk of harm from Heidi. He said she has a history of acting out in volatile ways and that she once checked herself into a psychiatric facility in October of 2015. In one incident, she trashed their four-year-old son's bedroom before jumping out the window and climbing over a fence. Neighbors called the cops who found Plank in a nearby backyard partially clothed, shutting an electrical circuit breaker on and off. Wayne was awarded full custody of their son, now 11, last month after filing court documents in L.A. six days after she disappeared. So we're just going to go down to former husband Jim Wayne made statements in 2015 as part of his bid to gain custody of their son. here. He said she had checked herself into a psychiatric facility on October 2000 in October 2015, but on the second day there she called him asking, "Can you please take me home? I am in a scary place," she added. "They are molesting me." When he asked her why she felt that way, she replied, "Every time I sit down to pee, I have to poop." According to the court filings, Heidi hated that their son did not pay enough attention to her, once completing a Lego building with him and then throwing the finished project against the wall. She then asked why she had a C-section scar denying she had a child. Two days earlier, Wayne, Heidi, and their son had to leave Rite Aid hurriedly. He took her and their son home and left. Before he could get home, she called and asked him to pick them up. When I got back, she was standing outside with our son holding a full plate of bacon. The entire drive back home, she was offering bacon to me repeatedly and seemed intoxicated. When they got to the house, he said he went to watch football on the TV while his ex-wife and son went into the boys' room. Why would you allow that? If she's running around here cooking bacon, running out of Rite Aid. Okay. About an hour into their being in the room, I heard a very loud thud and crash. I didn't think to go in the room to check because our son was laughing and I could hear that he was okay. But a half an hour later, the boy came out. Really? So he says, I am fearful of immediate risk of harm from the respondent to our child. I respectfully request that the court hear my matter. On October 8th and 11th, the respondent demonstrated acts that are damaging and dangerous to our child. I am worried for the well-being of our son, given her recent conduct. As such, I am requesting the court hear this matter today. I need emergency court orders to protect our son. We have a minor son. We're divorced. Why do I have a C-section? I don't have any children. She seemed very stressed and slightly disoriented. She asked if I would be willing to drive our son home. I advised her that I would drive him, but that they would have to wait until later when I finished with my last client. She asked me to give her money to take our son to dinner while they waited. I obliged. They went to a restaurant down the street and came back an hour later. When they arrived at 6.30, I noticed she was very jittery and nervous. When they arrived back, she turned to me and exclaimed, isn't it so weird? I started to take, I started to take things off of the wall. 
The question caused me to pause as her conduct and demeanor seemed suspicious. When I inquired as what she meant, she did not respond coherently. She has a history of substance abuse. Mm. So I've learned to be aware of her conduct and try to be aware of when and if she's using. When they got back, our son wanted to play cards. So we started to walk to Rite Aid a few blocks away from my office. What the hell is that? Oh, it's the trashed bedroom of the little boy. He was very excited and looked a little guilty. This is from when the other part, when he heard the loud sound. You have to come see my room. Mom made a mess. The room was in complete chaos. I looked out the window and could see what looked like her legs going over a fence. Neighbors called the cops who found her in a backyard, partially clothed, shutting off an electrical circuit breaker. His son liked to play with a Nerf gun. One time, Heidi fired the toy straight at his face when he hadn't gotten a mask on for protection. When he complained, she hit him in the eye. She triumphantly told the boy, should have had your mask on. <coughs> Excuse me. This is back to the complaint. Tell our son to hold my hand. When I asked her why, she said, because it's dark out. I walked close to them, put my hand on her shoulder and said, are you okay? When I put my hand on her shoulder, her face started to crumple and she was crying. She continued to collect herself and we continued to walk. We walked inside. She was shaking, went pale, turned to me and said, I can't be in here. It's too intense. We walked out quickly. We all went to my car and I started to drive to her apartment. When I got back, I watched her turn on the lights and go inside. After they got in, I started to drive to my house. After they got in, you let her go. Oh, my God. Before I got home, she called and asked if I would come pick them up. I got back. She was outside holding bacon. The entire drive back, she was offering me bacon and seemed intoxicated. Well, you had just seen her a second ago. When we got to the house, the two of them were in our son's room and started to play, and I was watching football, and he was laughing, okay? The room was in chaos. I yelled out to her, where are you going? She responded, this just isn't right. I went to my front porch to see if I could locate her. Two police cars pulled up. An officer asked if this was my ex-wife and I said yes. She was climbing on roofs and over fences in the neighborhood. She was pretty messed up. Yikes. The officers indicated they were going to take her on a 5150 or to jail. Goodness gracious. Two thousand and seventeen, when their son was six, they were playing with Nerf balls, and she pulled her shirt down so he could throw them down her cleavage. I find this very inappropriate. When she saw me looking at her doing this, she immediately held up a cardboard paper in front of her. And the boy asked her to put it down. Her response was so incoherent and irrelevant to the discussion. I noticed how odd she was being. This isn't the only time her conversation veered off in weird directions. When the boy told her he wanted to stop playing Legos and have a ner Nerf war, she replied, I had spaghetti next week. When the boy asked her on the phone to bring his Nerf gun, she replied, you want me to bring over a baby? She consistently changed what, she, what he said in the call in order not to answer any of his questions. He got so frustrated, he ended up hanging up the phone. Wayne said his ex-wife was addicted to the Adderall. He claimed she would go to three different doctors so she could get three separate prescriptions, making sure she always paid for two in cash so her abuse wouldn't be discovered. Wayne made it clear during the custody hearing he wanted his son to have a relationship with his mother, but he objected to anything other than monitored visits. I feel her conduct has not shown that she's reached a level that keeps our son out of harm's way. The couple fought for two years over who should have custody. Since 2017, they had joint. But when Wayne was granted full custody after his ex vanished, Court papers, he said he needed to put his son in therapy because he is completely distraught at his mother's disappearance. 
we have to expect the worst and accordingly I am requesting legal full and physical custody so I can enroll the boy into therapy immediately. This is an emergency. If we hear from authorities that Heidi has been kidnapped or has died, I fear that my son will be extremely distressed and inconsolable beyond his current mental state. He needs to be in therapy right away, whatever news may come. How awful. Now I'm really wondering what in the world could have happened to her if she had a mental break or something. What strange behavior that is. I wonder if she's been diagnosed with anything. I just wanted to bring you guys the update because this is awfully strange.